Hello everyone and welcome to a new exciting episode of Tech Unveiled. Do you want to be in control of your network assets? Traditionally, when networks need upgrade or maintenance, we need to visit the site and do manual data collection, with the risk of losing real-time data and delaying time to market. In this episode, we will learn how Site Digital Twin can be a game changer for how mobile networks are deployed, modernized and expanded. I'm Lena and I will be your guide to unveil this topic. So please join me and let's go meet our experts. So here in the studio, we have Ebru Kuraj, uh, heading the transformation of the deployment portfolio. And Patrick Björkander, strategic product manager. Welcome to Tech Unveiled. Thank you. Thank you, Lena. It's great to be here. And it's a pleasure to have you. So let's start with you, Ebru. Could you give us a quick overview of what Site Digital Twin is and how it fits into the digitalized deployment workflow? Pleasure. Uh, let me put it into context. Site Digital Twin is the digital representation of a site with all its components. And our solution starts from capturing the data of the site and then standardizing it and connecting it and leveraging it throughout the entire lifecycle management processes. Our platform provides a global scale of automation and built-in analytic features. Therefore, our customers and ourselves, we can interrogate our data, make better understanding of it, and plan our future investments for modernizations and expansions much more efficiently. Thanks, Ebru, for setting the scene for us here. Now, let's take a step back and look at different uh, scenarios of network uh, deployment and upgrades. Patrick, what would you say are the key challenges that service providers are facing here today? Yes, Lena. a key challenge. I would say as, as 5G continues to accelerate, it also continues to challenge the way we normally deploy and, and upgrade or, or modernize our networks. And it also puts an increased pressure on, on service providers to, I would say, monetize 5G and, and their um, and new technology investments, uh, digitalize site assets and, and better leverage the installed base, uh, decrease the lead time from design to site on air, uh, and also connect existing and new technologies and, and leverage them more effectively. And I would say um, the, the challenge of the process of when you do collect site data is that it's traditionally very manual. It depends on physical site visits and the resulting documentation of these visits are very uh, fragmented and non-standardized. Uh, entities use different systems and different methodologies. They don't communicate with each other. Uh, so, in essence, I mean, the outcome of the site data is that it's normally it's, it's isolated, it's disconnected, it's inaccurate, and it's not continuously updated. And, of course, this uh, significantly reduces the value it provides to site uh, or network upgrades or modernizations. Mm. Right, so that's where the site digital twin will make a difference. Exactly. Mm. So, um, what would you say, Eero, are the key features in the platform that then enable us to create value out of all this data? Sure. The first uh, feature, the first core feature would be the building information modeling standard, the BIM standard that we are building our solution around that effectively contains and manages uh, every digital information of the network. And the other uh, key feature would be our data capturing methodologies, which is enriched with auto recognition features. Uh, data Data capturing can be done in various methodologies. By far the highest quality will be obtained by flying drones and using lasers uh, during site survey. Uh, with the millions of data points that it collects, it's going to bring you millimeter accuracy. However, it has some limitations in particular markets due to some regulatory or business reasons. Therefore, it's important for me to say that traditional site surveys are also interrogatable or ingestible by our platform. Uh, as long as the outputs are in ISO standards, it can be ingested. And last but not least, the platform allows data ingestion from the existing network information of our customer installed base. Uh, from their CAT systems, from their inventory systems, we can ingest that data. This has a particularly significant importance because this is where our customers are effectively going to interrogate their data and combine it, connect it with their expansion plans. And once you collect the data from capture the data from the site, 
there comes uh, the translation to a digital twin. And with digital twin, you're going to have your standardized digital representation of your site. This will provide the contiguous data set that we were lacking before, which every defined user can update it as per the workflow management process. And any stakeholder at any given time of a um, project lifecycle can interrogate and get the most accurate data from the network. Mm. I see. So, Ibra, you, you mentioned the um, uh, building information modeling BIM. Um, Patrick, uh, could you elaborate a bit on what that is, how it works, uh, and what benefit it brings? Sure, Lena. So, building information modeling, or BIM, is really the, uh, the data enrichment piece, I would say. It's, it's an open standard. It's been used in, in construction projects across many different uh, industries. Ericsson has now taken BIM and enriched it with, with specific telecom attributes uh, and fully integrated that into our digital twin platform, uh, while still uh, being fully compatible to the ISO standard 19650, which is the, the BIM implementation. And, um, yeah. Just to exemplify, I mean, it's, it's just like when you want to buy a new kitchen. You select a company, you provide them with, their, with your dimensions of your kitchen, and they will then um, insert this into some kind of environment, a design environment, where you can drag and drop your oven, your refrigerator. And once you're happy, uh, they will provide you with a bill of material, all the material that is needed, they will provide you with a design drawing and they will also provide you with some kind of uh, specification of all the services that is needed to install the kitchen. Um, and it's exactly the same way with our uh, Site Digital Twin solution. But in this case, we use BIM to fully understand our telecom sites, exactly the assets and the components down to nitty gritty level uh, to fully uh, be able to leverage that in the best way and also evolve the, the sites to meet current and uh, future needs, I would say. Mm. I can so relate to your kitchen metaphor. I recently did a remodeling at home. <laughs> but now let's uh, dig deeper into uh, Site Digital Twin. Uh, Ebra, could you walk us through the different building blocks of the platform? Of course, and let me give you the Ericsson unique, uh, unique differentiators as well. Uh, the first one would be the component library that we are building and which is being continuously updated. Now, it is a digital representation of the entire product library. It's going to reach more than 30,000 components, both Ericsson and third party, uh, shortly. And let me continue with your kitchen analogy. If we consider these are the ingredients of a cake recipe, we have the second building block, which is our business business logic. This would be the cake recipe itself. Business logic effectively relates the components together. It defines the relationships and compatibility of components to each other. And there are many, many different combinations. Our uh, business logic can um, leverage hundreds of um, these relationships. And it has the drag and drop capability. Therefore, once you take your uh, component, you introduce it to your site uh, digital twin, it is automatically transferred. And then uh, we have the user interfaces that defines the outcome to the interrogation processes. And you can do this interrogation at any level. You can interrogate your site, your project, your network. And when you apply these processes into your uh, pro pro uh, services processes, you're going to enrich every phase. This is very, I think, very impressive because you can start from planning and design phase by planning efficient sites proactively. Then you can build and maintain the network and the sites with quality and with higher efficiency because first time right will be increased drastically. Mm. Great. So, so Patrick, uh, what would you say that are then the extended benefits that customers can get uh, by leveraging all these site and network data? Yeah, I would say it's definitely not only about product data. It's about the complete uh, site solution and network view. And as Sebru said, I mean, our system is fully interrogatable on both uh, site and, and network level. It uh, provides you with information on how to best uh, plan, design and, and uh, maintain your network. So now you don't 
you don't need to make any assumptions anymore, right? You can make fact-based decisions, which is which is key for efficiency. Uh, and we can also integrate towards customers' own IT uh, networks using uh, application programming interfaces, APIs, uh, which then enables the the customer to consume this data in their own systems, and where we can provide accurate data sets that can feed into customers' um, operations, marketing, and and financing, uh, for instance. Mm. So to wrap up this discussion, uh, Ibru, what would you say is the key values that different entities can get from leveraging uh, site digital twin capabilities in network deployment, upgrades and uh, expansions? Sure. Um, networks are getting more and more complex every day. The technology is evolving. Uh, we are having diversified business models. So digitalization is essential, critically essential, in order to meet the customized requirements of every customer and ourselves. So I can proudly say that our solution, Site Digital Twin, uh, provides greater accuracy and real timeliness of the data so that you can control your network assets. It's going to provide higher quality with the integrated digital processes that it combines. And it's going to bring, bring overall efficiency with the increased first time right and reduced lead times. And last but not least, we're going to improve our global commitment sustainability by reducing the unnecessary site visits. Fantastic. So thank you, Ibru, and thank you, Patrick, for sharing your expertise with us here today. And thank you all for joining us. And, and should you, like me, uh, find Site Digital Twin a very exciting topic, then I can warmly recommend you to read our related blog. You find it together with previous Tech Unveiled episodes episodes on ericsson.com slash techunveiled. I really hope to see you back soon again. Until then, take care, stay safe, and bye for now. <laughs>